Hello YouTube and hello F1 community. I'm here to talk about the secret that I believe Red Bull has done and is keeping that other teams are not realizing what's going on. They're trying to copy the outside how the car look but <laughs> it's futile because Red Bull know their secret that's why they, their car is different. Now let's talk about 2021 this was the car that they were told that 2022 the cars will be different red bull went to work and they did what they overspent the cost cap they were given a slap of 7 million and 10 percent reduction in car development which is nothing and that car development is what we're talking about wind tunnel reduction. 10% is nothing if you've already done the job, the ground work. Like Red Bull did, they did the ground work and they had nothing to worry about. The 7 million, the 10% was nothing. It didn't do anything. We saw what happened in 20, uh, 2021, 2022 never affected them literally the effect was just slight when other teams tried to catch up to them but not really like in the place to beat them but the thing is the secret what they did was greater than teams just trying to copy the outside how it looks so now, what is that secret? I'm telling you the truth. If teams can listen to what I'm going to say, what I'm going to present, try it. Come back to me next year. Prove me wrong and say, um, we tried what you said. It did not work out. Yeah. Do that. Come and try me. Try me. Because what I'm going to present to you these are things even if it just dawned on me because i sat trying to think and wondering how is it that red bull has managed to do this and other teams are failing i try to observe since i'm a very good observer and when it comes to wisdom things just come to me things i never went to school for or i don't understand i more like it just drops in my head and I understand in that moment what's going on. That's how I am. So it happened with me. It just happened on a comment. Uh, Mercedes just uh, going about their business saying, okay, they're going to talk about what happened in Japan. And then it dawned on me. Mm -mm. This is what these teams are missing that's the day i realized and it was just this very week so now let's go and see what red bull did here is the thing red bull since they are not a car manufacturer they can be humble enough to do a research with other companies partner with other companies like they did with honda but look at Mercedes and Ferrari. They cannot say they go over to Honda and say, oh, let's uh, get some technology from, from you. Uh, we want to use it in our F1 cars or go to maybe uh, VW, uh, any other bigger companies. They can't do that because of what? Pride. You know, like, mm, what will they say? especially if it's a small company what will they say they'll say if news goes out that we went to this small company what will they think about us we are a big company and exactly that's what will happen do you see that so pride is the beginning of a downfall and we have seen this downfall these two companies they have failed to reach to the uh max that red bull has managed 
because of what Red Bull went to work behind closed doors. We can say, for example, let's look at this. When Mercedes was dominant for many years, where was Red Bull? Where was Adrian Newey? Adrian Newey couldn't create a car that could compete and beat uh, Mercedes to compete for championship. It happened in 2022 when the cars were different. Let's not talk about 2021, which we know FIA is guilty. Red Bull, they know that race. Hamilton won that race, won that championship. Let's not go right there. Because if that was taken to court, it's a clean win for Mercedes. But I don't know what they're doing, why they're not doing anything about that. That, let's put it back. Let's start from 2022 when the cars changed and Red Bull became dominant. So Red Bull did a great research. That's what came to my mind. I observed, um, let's get rid of that. I don't do uh, cookies. So this was the car. More like if I just give them a clean slate and says, this is what you are working with. So Red Bull did a research in 2021 and overspent. Now, things that I realized in my observation, I saw this. What did I see? Elon Musk at Red Bull. Then this week I realized when I uh, remembered what I saw previously that ah that's it Elon Musk what does he do he's got some good uh, cars electric cars and they are fast indeed some of the versions are top to be in the top fastest cars in the world that is electric cars, fastest electric cars in the world. So when I saw this, I realized that um, these guys have partnered with him. They got technology from him for electric cars. So other teams are looking at what the bodywork is not the bodywork alone. It also has to do with electric motors that are in f1 cars and the batteries you see that it's a combination of everything so there could be something that red bull could be doing better when it comes to other f1 teams they probably got technology from elon musk and used it in their f1 car so more like elon just came to see the great work that have been achieved that they have achieved together do you see that so it's not only this let's look at one other thing that i realized here is a, a website okay there is this website for fastest cars that I just uh, came to check because I just wanted to see the fastest cars and in all these I found that okay Elon Musk uh, cars are also mentioned in here to be part of them there they see the Tesla you see that the Model S all these performance people or rather other teams they couldn't get to this an electric car without a power unit running on fuel achieving all this power just using electric electricity or rather battery power so this is where the secret is imagine adding this power plus the power of gas that these uh, power units are running hybrids what do you get 
you get the power that Red Bull has. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So, other teams can achieve this if they did their homework. If they start doing it right now to research, go to these small companies. Most of these are just small companies. For example, this. This is a crazy 1.4 seconds or rather one. Yeah, in some uh, websites they say it's 1.4 seconds. 1.5 seconds reaching 62 miles. Hit top speed 150. Do you see all this? So this technology. Now this car, it uses ground effect. The very one that Formula One back in the days tried to use and they are using in these cars right now. So let me show you this car they are mentioning right here. There it is. It was a good car. It managed to win a race, but they banned it. There it is. It was banned in 1978. And this company, that very car I showed you, they got the idea from this and created this, which is very good at just top speed um, from zero to 100, like we saw. Very great, very fast. Do you see that ground effect that this car has is very good. So I'm sure Red Bull did probably visit these guys. Here is a video I will show you, but I'll not play it because, or rather if I play it, it means I just want to avoid uh, having copyright claims. So. Let's try and see if we'll get a copyright claim. Okay, that's the car. But now, come over to this channel and see what I'm talking about. These guys, they do um, race different cars, drag race. So let's try and go exactly... Um, Let's find where they're racing. Okay. Okay. Let's start from there. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm talking about? These two are electric cars. Look at the Formula One, how it's left in the dust. Electric versus gas powered. So, imagine adding these two power in one car, making a hybrid. Man, you will have exactly the power that we are talking about, the power that Red Bull has. You see that? So this is the secret that other teams missed. Should they have done a good research, they could have probably come close or been able to compete with Red Bull. Do you see that? So that's it. Ground effect. As they said, Adrian knew it had experience already with these cars because he had worked in a, at the time when they were having this type of cars in F1. So he had the knowledge how to create that. So why is it that other teams never did anything? Why didn't they do research? Why didn't they try to find other um, engineers? who had maybe some experience in this 
some knowledge in this they could contact this very uh, manufacturer for this very small fast car how are they achieving that ground effect you see that so there are two things right here the flow design to achieve the suction so that the car can be sucked to the ground and be fast plus electric motors there is the answer there is the secret now there is bad news for other uh, teams for 2026 what is this bad news let me show you the bad news so this is the bad news i'm talking about the sony honda ev and they so now sony is in the business uh, they came together with honda to have a great um, electric car so now and you know exactly the meaning of this you see that so these guys the technology that is in this car it will find itself where in red bull in 2026 because red bull is still working with honda do you see that and if honda are working with sony man you just know that's just more bad news for other teams unless they can find other companies too that are in this business there are other biz uh, car manufacturers that are fast cars faster than tesla uh, models why not partner with those even if you are big you are mercedes you are ferrari partner with these companies and create an f1 car that will be equal or able to beat red bull now here is one thing that i can give a challenge to if the two teams for example in 2026 when the cars change since everything changes they can do an experiment get the red bull flow right and add it to and add it to the mercedes 2022 car that had no side pod you will see that the data that mercedes were talking about that they had in a virtual world it was faster than all other f1 cars would be achieved put that flow right under there you will see what happens they will realize that yep it's not working so probably they only needed to tweak the flow plus like i said the motors change the motors and use the motors that red bull is using currently probably even the batteries that is because the battery the motor the flow these are the three big things that will really uh propel an f1 car now let me show you um the motors are different so we don't know what designs each team has they are different do you see that they are different motors so you may not know which type that red bull is using what mercedes ferrari is using or other smaller teams are using they're different yes we, we can talk about lightweight there is lightweight material for example aluminum you see that since we know that there is a cap for the weight for the cars i believe the motors the battery has to do with why red bull is so powerful the other thing we saw the red bull the red bull upgrade you may wonder 
why all these air intakes? What are they calling? I mean, these teams are not really trying to look at Red Bull. Red Bull is doing something different under right there. All these things that I mentioned, what if all this cooling that Red Bull is adding is needed either with the batteries, the motors, or other things Red Bull has under this hood? Do you see that? So I'm sure they're just laughing. They see this team copy, they, they just laugh because they know what they're doing. <laughs> Did you see Japan? They added this. They only had one right there on, on either side. But the, now they have four right there just uh, above the driver's head. So why all this cooling? The things that I mentioned. There are other <laughs> men. I mean, these teams, they are not really trying to understand. But now since I've given you the secret that Red Bull could be using or has, um, why it has uh, so much advantage over every other team, well, that's it. Do a research, find out exactly what is happening like in this yeah someone is asking what happens here Do you see that so tesla elon musk technology is in red bull sony technology is coming in 2026 maybe even next year because that car is already developed and who knows probably it's already in this uh, years come it could be so reason for all this cooling that they are adding right there there man other team might just have to pull up their socks go find uh, companies that are doing this kind of work and partner with them get their knowledge um, on how to do all these things electric motors come on pull up your socks next year if i can say if this year all teams just forget about red bull to try to catch red bull start working on 2025 car overspend the cost cap doesn't matter since unless you don't have the 7 million you don't have uh, um, or you need that 10 percent well stay in the zone then we know that the punishment wasn't so severe do you see that? Therefore, they can forget about developing cars this year and focus on developing next year's cars. In 2025, forget about developing those cars, work on 26. Or they can start working on 26 cars today. And I'm sure they will be able now to fight in 2026 with Red Bull. Probably even be faster than Red Bull. So, I've given you the secret that Red Bull could be doing and people don't understand. You see Elon Musk, you should have, it should have uh, come to your senses and said, mm, what is this guy doing here and uh, what does he do? Yes, electric cars. F1 cars need electric motors, they need batteries, that's it. You get the secret the secret is out and if other teams can even work so hard in the next few months by august you may find that they they catch up to red bull so quick it's not a lie if they can do a research right now ground if they find how that works because it's all about understanding you see that and then the battery the motors find the strongest motors how you can create those motors man if these teams can do that then we'll have formula because right now there's no formula that is why i cancelled my um f1 app subscription i cannot be watching something that that is not uh entertaining anymore racing it's more like if teams can be more like the same they have uh more like drivers changing maybe this race someone wins and they're 
it would be great. Yes, F1 was losing fans when Mercedes was dominant. It's the same thing that has happened right now. I've lost interest. Like I said, I canceled my subscription. There's no way I can be paying to see Red Bull winning all the time. I can't. Do you see that? I can watch a repeat somewhere. I can go by my friend's uh, place, watch something like that. But not spend money watching Red Bull win. So that's it. You get the secret. You get uh, exactly what Red Bull might be doing under their car. All these things you are just looking, what are all these air intakes for? My dear, go do the research. What I said is probably what they are doing. And they are probably wiser. And they managed to beat other teams to it. So, that's it. Subscribe. And I guess I'm out. Let me hear what you think in the comments. If you are an engineer, comment below and say, uh, I don't think so. That cannot be the answer. You tell me it cannot be the batteries because a battery technology is different. There are batteries that charge fast and those that are slow. What if Elon's batteries are, are great? On the website that I showed you, if you read, it shows that they have very fast charging batteries. So I believe I'm right. So I need engineers to comment below. If you're just a F1 fan, well, you can comment because you and I are just the same. But your comment is your opinion. But if an engineer can say uh, in the comment and say, mm -mm, that's not it. It's not the electric motor. It's not the battery. It's not the flow. Say it. I'll be waiting. Good. Bye. Oh, come on!